Okay, now it's time to go straight into autumn. But again, we're going to assume that I prepared for autumn. So I have all six of my maples available. And she has eight. Okay, let's see what she does now. And she has 14 cards in her city, so not a whole lot of land. She is playing it right now. She's filling out her city. She wants to put herself in the meadow and take a meadow card. One. Ah, she's not. If she rules the fool, she never plays it into her city. Obviously, she would eat it before. She would eat the fool before she would play it into her own city. This actually gets played into my city. As long as I have room in my city, and I don't already have one, that gets played there. So that was a good play on her part. And she goes here. And now I am going to... I'm going to say that I could take that. Because I probably should be able to take something at this point. Her next action. Oh, she's trying to place herself again. She cannot do this because she's already in the meadow. So she's going to go to the next one. Which she can do. Because she still has 14 cards in her city. So she's going to roll. Three. She's putting the post office in her city. Now her city is full. So she cannot play any more cards. But now she also discards the top card from her hand. And gains another coin. Have you been keeping track of what's in there? I haven't. Okay, so. Turn is over. We'll say I go somewhere. Look here. Well, we refresh this. Okay. Now, her next turn. Ah, uh, she's taking another special event. And what does she have here? She still has the inn. Yeah, and she just got the post office. So, yeah, she's taking the one with the inn and the bard. That was simple. Let me throw myself on one of these as well. Come up there. Okay. Just getting resources. A little late for that, but hey. Oh, I took that spot. So we're going to follow the tiebreaker, which is counterclockwise in this case. So she starts here and goes counterclockwise to here. Done. I'll go here. She takes a turn. Nope. She's placing another worker. And it's going in the lower spot, which she is already there. So she goes clockwise to the next space. And I'm here. I'm not here. So she plays her spiderling there. No, oh, let's say I got that too. Why not? Make it interesting. Okay. Okay, now she wants to go on to take her worker on to a special event again. But the rules, she can never gain more than one special event in a season. She has already taken this one, the performer in residence. So she cannot do this second, she cannot take another second, another special event. That would be her second. So she's going to go to the Haven instead and get three coins. Oh God, there's a lot in there. And I guess I got one more. Might as well grab the last stone. Okay. All right. She wants to place her worker on a basic event. There are no basic events left. I took the last one, so she can't do this. She's going to go to an open location. She's going to go to one in my city first. We'll still assume I don't have one. She will go into her own, to her inn, and she will take a coin for that. Second action. She has three more workers left. Okay. Wants to pl place her spiderling in an open location. Well, her only open location is... She just occupied it. Oh, no, she has a post office. Forgot, so she will take that. She will go to her post office. Because the post office is also an open location. So she gets one coin for that. Next 
next action. Place a worker on this spot. She cannot place it here because it's full. Follow the clockwise tiebreaker. All three are full. Now is when she switches to the second action, which is the berry and the card, and that spot is empty, so she will go there. No more spiderling. What's she gonna do? Ah, here we go. Her last spiderling. Of course, she's going to go to the journey five spot, and it is totally open. I probably should have put some of my meeples there, but I had other plans. So that was it. Now it's very likely that the next card is going to be her prepare for season, which in autumn it is. She has the Nightweave icon. She cannot place Nightweave because she's already out. There's nothing in her lair. She prepares for season. When she prepares for season in autumn, it's basically, well, it's the end of her game. It's basically like she passed and she doesn't take any more turns. If you have more cards, more resources, you can do whatever you want. And when you're done, then you add up her points. The only thing she, she does, what she does first in her final prepare for season, she doesn't bring anything back. It all stays out there, just as in a regular game against another human. She does, if she has the full requirements, she does take one last final basic event, but the only one available has already been taken, so it does not matter. She won't do that. And at this point, she would also well, actually, before she does that, she would also add if she had any achievements that would go into her city. You know, if she had some critters and constructions that she took as achievements. So this happens with some of the expansions. Base game, it doesn't happen. But if she had these in her lair, she would put them in her city. These can take her over her city limit. And you would actually use these cards included in her city to determine which basic event she would take possible at the end of the game but we don't have any achievements for this the only achievements she has are her events and we will add those up in the scoring which is going to happen right now